Welcome back rangers to the newest edition of the Edible Backyard Weed series. This is part four. Today we are taking a look at wild radishes. Wild radishes are in the Brassicaceae family, known as the wild mustard family. This is the Raphanus raphanistrum species, and more specifically, I believe this is the Raphanus sativa species of wild radish. Now, in addition to those swollen tap roots, which we've all consumed, the entire plant is edible. So that is flowers, leaves, stems, and root. The leaves are gonna be more palatable when they are young as they tend to get a little more bitter when they are older. In addition, this plant will fruit uh, little seed pods and when those seed pods are young they kind of looks like a little string bean and those are very edible and delicious as well and taste exactly like the radish root itself. Uh, unfortunately these plants do not have the, uh, the little seed pods yet as they are just in their flowering stage. Um, some other plants that are in this family are things like invasive short pod mustard and black mustard. Something that's really cool about these mustard families is that you can take the seeds and create a poultice and you can put that poultice of seeds on the chest and it's really great for stimulating blood circulation by dilating the capillaries and it can open up the airways in the lungs to make it easier to cough to expel phlegm. Uh, so really cool properties. One thing to be super aware of is if you leave that poultice on your chest or skin for too long, it can actually cause a chemical burn. So you got to be really careful that you don't leave it on for too long and that you don't have any reactions to it. Uh, real quick, the flowers to this plant, as you can see, have four petals and four sepals. Those are separate, as you can see, and not fused, uh, in addition to six stamens. Now, the flowers are typically white to purplish in color, but they can be, they can vary from anything to yellow, pink, uh, with quite a lot of variations. Um, this is an annual plant that will uh, die back after it goes to seed. It has a rosette of leaves, and those leaves, you, as you guys can see, are pinnately lobed, um, typically about seven inches long to two and a half inches wide. So this is the Raphanus sativus plant. This is the wild radish, and this is a great plant to know because this plant is popping up everywhere. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me on this newest edible backyard weed series. This is part four. You guys stay aware and protect.